Hello and welcome back to chapter 5, lecture number 27. We continue with making a bake and for this we need to make a bake image. So we go to the UV image editor, image, new image, call this building underscore 2 low or high. <laughs> Start with a high resolution, high bake. 4096, 4096. 4096 that's a nice resolution for a bake all right so the next thing we need to do is image save as image and we go to our textures and I created a bake folder and we start with a high resolution yeah save as image okay then we click the, the yeah the, it's not the low poly it's just the the one uh, we want to bake and select all the vertices and it's quite a mesh and it's already select the um, the bake image so what we will do is always before you do an unwrap check the scale that is right and i like to check the screen cost press u and do, do, do smart uv project and stretch is uh, is okay because you want to fill the whole uh, image and the thing and it, it's it's in, it, pretty hard to solve these sort of small um, models or UVs taking a lot of space in this bake um, but yeah that's what it is so we have an unwrap what is pretty good we have a bake image but we need to apply this so we go for a new material we go for a principle it's not really necessary at the moment but uh, yeah we need to apply it and we go to add texture image texture import and we select the bake image so this building is set we click shift left mouse button on the high resolution and let's well first let's select the uh, the first layer and call this building two underscore two high reso okay so we can use this image as a bake and this is building underscore two high bake so we have a high resolution and a high bake okay we select both layers we start with the high resolution and shift the right mouse button on the bake okay go to uv image editor oh, this one is selected so we go to the to the render uh, settings what we want is a render resolution of 50 and if you want a higher resolution on the bake you can increase this to 80 and maybe 100 but that takes a long time to uh, to bake so we keep this uh, on that one we go to the bake settings we start with the diffuse select to active you can scale this so you can see it's select to active and a ray distance of one if you keep it zero the bake will not cover all the parts in your uh, in your uh, yeah bake uh, before we before we click on bake we also need to turn off the sky texture click new and go for a full white color yes and t -t 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 -t, remove the sun lamp as we don't need it and that should work perfect all right so back to the render settings and we'll need to select the high resolution low resolution and click bake all right well this will take some time expect uh to, 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 if we look at the samples around 15 30 minutes for a bake it's a very complex one um but yeah uh, we'll pause the video and uh, return in a second to go to the other maps okay all right and uh welcome back this is the diffused bake map looks uh, pretty good so f3 
and this is the folder for high resolution bakes so we call this high bake diff diff from diffuse and click save as image and the next bake will be the specular so we select a glossy glossy is another word for specular and we go for a bake so we'll uh, take another 15 minutes and we pause and here is the specular image what looks good we save this call list spec and save and we switch to the ambient occlusion and click bake all right i will pause the video all right and we also have well the plan was all right here we have the ambient occlusion map and we save this as a underscore ambient occlusion and save and what's left is the normal map so we switch to normal and bake and this bake will go much quicker than all the other ones but i still pause the video and we now also have a normal map and we save this as nor okay so we have a bake map for the high resolution uh, building and we now switch to the low poly and i like to load the black image go for a new material call this building and the score low bake and <clears throat> principle but that you can use the this diffuse as well because uh, this is just for the baking all right and we need to load the bake image and it's right there so it's stored in the high detailed folder but we can use the black one so the black image and we're going to save this in the low folder so no panic just a quick view well this is really low <laughs> wondering how that will result please just a quick check mm. that one okay seems seems fine okay so we checked it and we need to uv map it so everything is now selected you smart uv project there it is and click ok and we now have a nice unwrap good okay then we select the top image the top building uh, select it as well so you, you start with selecting the high details shift right mouse button for the low poly one okay now you're set for a bake this will take uh, again uh, some time but yeah that's uh, what baking is all about waiting okay check check double check everything is okay and then click on bake okay so we'll pause the video again and uh, return when the bake is finished okay here you can see the diffuse bake map of our low poly building and we save this very important that you switch to the low folder and da, 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 call this low building to low bake diff all right check check double check and we save it good and let's say we switch to this glossy and i like to save this <laughs> right now okay and yeah we can bake and we wait again see you in a minute the spec mac is ready so we press f3 and we fill in spec and save and we click on combine occlusion and bake again so this is the final bake map that take a lot of time takes a long time because the normal map will go quicker so we're far almost there one more sec 
Pause the video. Okay, the Ambient Occlusion Map is finished. We save that one as well, and we call it AO. Ambient Occlusion, save, and we go for the normal map. Doot, 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 and bake it. So pause the video. And the normal is finished as well, and we save this in the low folder. No. Good. So I will jump into the um, what I call the origin center. So we save the file and remove everything in the scene except the uh, bakes. And because we have a uh, LOD1 and LOD0, I want to have the origin on the same place. So I put the cursor right there, spacebar, set origin, origin, origin to geometry, no, origin to cursor, sorry my mistake, and shift left mouse button on the uh, uh, low poly, right click on it, spacebar, and repeat this step. So the origin is sharing the same point. Okay, and now we can remove the low version, delete. We only have this one visible, file, save as. And this is the, um, let's take a look. Texture models, textures, or PBR2, bakes. And let's put this file. So building underscore two, hi, bake, or let's say height two, LOD underscore zero. Save and control Z. And now we remove that one. This is the low version. And I'd like to take a look at these seems to control Z to have double normals but looking pretty hack okay so we do file save as and in the low folder and call this one and save as blender file now you can control Z everything bring it back and you still have your core files. And there it is. So everything is back there. And file, save as in the main folder. Okay, buildings, and call this like to 27, save. Good, so we finished. We have the bake models, we, uh, so the, LOD zero and LOD one, and we have the bake images for both of the buildings. The next lecture will cover the unity part. So uh, we jump into that in the next one. I hope you learned something in this uh, lecture and see you in the next one. Bye bye.